Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about the best releases from Christian Dior Beauty this year. They had quite a few, but I have some stellar knockout releases that really clung to my heartstrings. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Now, we're going to start off with an item that really, truly blew me away and shocked me completely. This is a powder matte foundation. This is the Dior Forever Natural Velvet, and this is a compact foundation that has a velvet matte finish, and I use the shade 3N Neutral. Now, what shocked me the most about this foundation here is that I have dry, dehydrated skin, okay? So if you told me that a matte, powder, velvet finish foundation would be something that I would enjoy, I would have thought you were a liar completely because typically that is something that I avoid like the plague. But this is the foundation that I'm wearing today. This is refillable, which is really nice. So if you're someone who has, like if you go in between two shades for different seasons, you can get just the refill and just pop these in and out, which is fabulous. And as I stated, I have more dry skin, so I don't want anything too mattifying, too drying, but this is so natural. It's beautiful, it's velvety, it's like a soft velvet matte. It isn't too drying, it doesn't cake, it doesn't fill, it doesn't um, pick up or build up in any creases or texture, things like that. It looks very natural. You can tell that I am wearing makeup, but it doesn't look like a thick cake or a thick layer. It's this incredibly breathable, natural, lightweight, matte powder compact foundation. Like I'm shook, I'm so shook. Let me go ahead and give you a little swatch here. And as you can tell from the compact, it is well loved i dip into it quite often so this is what the powder looks like and then you can just blend it out and sheer it out it feels very soft very velvety and i'm just really impressed by how natural it is like you can still see a little bit of imperfections you know if you have very oily skin you could use a more mattifying powder but if you have dry skin, dehydrated skin, and I live in Montreal, I live in Montreal, okay? It's getting cold, it's getting icy and winter tundra-like. I'm still going to wear this because it's not going to just like suck all the moisture out. And so this one here really blew me away as far as a foundation because it sort of just opened my eyes to maybe I actually like powder foundations, who knew? And just so you know, I heard a rumor from a source that I will not disclose that Dior will be reformulating a lot of their products in the new year. Their forever concealer, their foundations, I think their primers as well. So a lot of their complexion items are about to be reformulated, but you didn't hear it from me. Let's go ahead and move on to eyeshadows here. So as you can see, these um, two compacts here, these eyeshadows are matte. This one here is not, it's all smudgy and full of fingerprints, but these here are matte. And this was a velvet formula or a velvet edition. These are the Cinq Couleur Couture, and this was part of a velvet collection. There were a couple of these and I picked up two palettes. The first one here is 629 Coral Paisley, and I am wearing some of this today on my eyes, this Coral Paisley. I think this came out in the springtime here, and I'm not sure why this was called velvet, because they're not all matte for some reason. Like some of these are more satiny. I'm gonna go ahead and give you swatches, but I don't remember exactly why this was called the Velvet Collection. They certainly do feel velvety and very smooth. You know, I love this brand as far as eyeshadows go. They're just so spectacular. So it's called Coral Paisley. And what's nice is that it's not too orange. You may be, you may be thinking like, oh, it's gonna be super orange and I'm gonna look like a little pumpkin on my eyes, but it's sort of just like coral and brown and you have neutrals. You do get like your little pumpkin orange over here, but you do get like this peachy color is beautiful and then the neutrals, you get like a nice balance of mattes. On the bottom, it's three matte, and the top was more satin. So it's kind of, I use it as like a neutral palette, even though it does have this like super 
pumpkin-y orange, you can just ignore it and use the other ones if you're not feeling like a pumpkin spice eyeshadow look. So I loved this one here. And of course, we have to talk about the blue cousin of the coral palette. This is called Blue Velvet. If you're new to my channel, I love a blue eyeshadow. So I was beyond ecstatic to see this come out here earlier this year. This is 189 Blue Velvet. And I think that there were five palettes in this collection here, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if you remember this velvet series here. And the blue velvet had more satin shadows in it. So the top three are satiny, and I love this center shade because it's a little bit cool toned. It's like a taupey lilac. You know, I love a cool tone shadow. We see so much warm these days. So this velvety denim blue is really beautiful. The two bottom colors are a bit drier. They're a matte and you have like a dark, dark navy black and a dark navy. But if you like blue eyeshadow, listen, this definitely was for you. I like this silver shade up here. You can really do something lighter even with blue shadow or you can kind of go ham and do a really dark smoky blue look. I'm sort of jumping around a little bit here, but we have to talk about the Dior Mille Fiori collection. Oh, this came out in the fall here in Canada. I think in the US it came out earlier, but this is Miss Dior and this is a scented candle. It smells like Miss Dior and this Mille Fiori pattern here, these flowers, I think it means like millions or thousands of flowers in Italian. I could be very wrong, but it's very beautiful. You get this like beautiful light pastel pink with these flowers. It's so beautiful. And for this entire collection, we see a lot of this everywhere. And so oh, it smells so good. Even the box itself still smells amazing. I haven't lit it yet. I'm planning on it. I will. And I'll stick a bunch of lip glosses or maximizers in here. So this is what the candle looks like. So again, you just get a repeat of the packaging. You know what? I love the packaging. I love it. You get the Miss Dior logo here, and this is the candle inside. It's like a light pink, like a pastel pink. It's beautiful. It's super feminine. I love it. I love it so much. I love this fragrance. It isn't my favorite version. The 2009, 2008, 2010 Miss Dior was my perfume. That was the one that I repurchased for myself multiple times, and I like the Miss Dior that we have now. But I don't love it as much, but I still like the idea of Miss Dior. So I was very happy to see this and I was very happy to see it here in Canada. We actually had like a whole installment at Holt Renfrew and I was very, very excited to see that. And then I also picked up two of the lipstick cases for the Dior Addict lipsticks. So this is the Mille Fiori uh, case. It's canvas. And as you can see, it has the colorful flower motif just sort of designed on here and it's absolutely beautiful. I love this case so much and I got a couple of lipsticks inside here too and at the same time I got this case here and this case it looks like it's tinsel, like tinsel from a tree that's been stitched into the canvas and it looks like if you get a current Miss Dior perfume there's like a little tiny scarf around the neck of the bottle and it's the same pattern as this here so it's just ugh very very like a lot of attention to detail which i love and then i got two of the dior addict shine i have the shade 1947 miss dior this is so beautiful i love this formula it's very creamy very hydrating very buttery and this is a beautiful rosewood it's just like your lip but better i love it and then this one here is called Rose Fortune. I think this one is a bit more cool. Yeah, it's almost more plummy when you compare it to this one over here. Oh my god, my swatch kind of got the best of me here. But you can see that they have a nice shine finish. It's going to be very hydrating, especially for colder months. Very beautiful. And they're both sort of like pinky nudes, but this is more cool plummy and this is like a bit more of rosewood brown. And I, I picked up both at the same time because I just wanted variety and like again, look at these cases. They're so beautiful. 
Now let's talk about what I'm wearing on my lips today. These are part of the new Dior Transfer Proof Bullet Lipsticks. Now they have the Transfer Proof Liquid Lipsticks that came out a couple of years ago, but then they came out with the bullet ones this year. They're super thin and narrow. They're much thinner than a regular lipstick, which is nice because you can go ahead and like do the contours of your lips very nicely. So this shade here is 505, 505 Forever Sensual. 525 Forever Chérie and 558 Forever Grace. I love the CD logo here in the center. It's very beautiful, very extra. I mean, we do pay for some packaging here, don't we? So today on my lips, I actually mixed uh, these two here, Forever Grace and Forever Chérie. I did the contour of my lip with the darker one and then I filled in the center with the lighter one. I just think it gives like a beautiful mix. It just sort of blends together. You don't get that much of an ombre effect, but I think it's beautiful. So these ones here are matte, as you can see, it's a matte lip. And these are meant to be transfer proof, water resistant, very long wearing. They're not completely as transfer proof as they claim, but they are a very, very long wearing bullet uh, matte lipstick. And I think that they are actually quite comfortable. It feels like nothing on the lips. It feels like I literally have nothing on my lips at the moment, which is ideal. And I do find them to be quite transfer resistant. I wouldn't like slap on a fresh coat and then throw on a mask right away. Maybe wait a couple of minutes, but I think it's a beautiful formula. I remember a few people said that they went to Sephora and you know what Sephora, it's like a jungle. And so a lot of the testers were just like left open like this to the wild and they looked disgusting, which makes sense because a lot of testers at Sephora look horrendous. But when you have them at home and you keep them closed like a civilized person, they stay fresh, they, they stay good, they don't feel dry or cracked or anything like that. So these still feel great, they still, they smell fine, like nothing's changed in the past few months. And it's just nice sometimes when you want something that's going to be very long wearing. And if I want something a bit more glossy, sometimes I'll add a bit of lip balm or like a lip oil or a maximizer over top. But if I just want like a baseline that's gonna stay all day, I'm going with this here. So speaking of very long wearing lip products, I also have the Dior Addict Lip Tint. And this is a shade that came out specifically for the summer release. This one here is called 641 Natural Red Tangerine. So this is like a lip tint, lip stain. This is what the wand looks like here. And the lip product looks very watery, very runny. And so what you can do is you can just do like a sheer stain on your lips or you can build it up to be more glossy and intense. I love a warm orangey red for summer. To me, nothing screams summer more than like an orangey red pout, a white t-shirt and sunglasses. That is like my summer aesthetic goals typically. And so as this dries down, you can see it, it will dry down a bit. And this is a stain, like it stains your lips for hours. I can go ahead and try to remove this now with a makeup remover but you're going to see an orange swatch here. So for me, this was like a layering product. I would use it and apply a thick coat to get a glossy effect, but eventually the gloss dissipates and you just are left with a lip stain. So you can go in with your maximizers, your lip oils, whatever you wanna do afterwards. But this is just great if you wanna put something on in the morning and know you're just gonna have some sort of lip color last a little bit all day. Okay, well, we have an orange swatch on the back of my hand here. It's not really coming off. Maybe with a bit more rubbing. You kind of have to really get in there to get the color. And it's still, there's still some orange back here. So yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's going to stain and they have other colors available too if you want, but I like the orangey red for summer. Now, the eyeshadow that I purchased at the same time as that natural red tangerine is this palette here. This is 479 Bayadar, and this is part of the summer collection. And this is so beautiful. At first, I saw promo photos online, and like the promo photos were just like, eh, whatever. And perhaps when you see this in the palette, you may think, eh, whatever. No, it's one of those palettes that 
looks very average in the palette but then when you wear it it's so beautiful and so flattering today i'm wearing these lighter colors like the peach and the light champagne in the crease here and then i'm wearing the coral paisley the two mattes the center and the dark one here in the corner just a little bit in the outside corner here and a little bit on the bottom and i just like mixing both of these together i think they're just very flattering and very nice together so this is what the swatches look like the i would say that the top three and then this one here are more satiny you only get one matte over here and it's just so beautiful if you have this like super stark yellowish gold and then these two up here are just like the beautiful one and done a little bit of mascara and you're out the door you have like a soft brown and like a deeper chocolatey brown a little bit terracotta so it may look boring in the palette but sometimes the, the palettes that look the most meh in the palette actually are the most flattering on the eyes because they're just so beautiful so yeah i got a lot of use out of this one in the summer i think i traveled with this one i took it with me to portugal i think i don't think i wore that much makeup there but when i did i did enjoy the palette now moving on to the blush that i'm wearing today this is from the last release from the year and this is the holiday collection this is the blush 826 i think it's called cosmic red as you can see so this year they came out with a cosmic red and a cosmic more peachy coral color and i was at first i wasn't sure if i wanted this one here because i was like oh it's so dark it definitely looks amazing with a lot of red and berry lip colors but it also looks great with today's lip color that's a little bit red but not super super dark a little bit of this blush goes a very long way but it just sort of gives you that healthy beautiful a flush to your cheeks here and you can see this year's holiday collection is all inspired by constellations and the stars with our beautiful cd logo in the center and this is the blush here this could honestly be a gorgeous eyeshadow it's a red but it's not like too clownish you know sometimes you think of red blush you're like oh god like two red circles no it has a bit of plum honestly a bit of terracotta and gold in it and you can sheer it out to make something lighter or build it up it's just it's very beautiful it has a slight luminous shift not a chunky glitter but i'm not wearing highlighter today just the blush and it still looks beautiful it looks luminous it's just a very gorgeous blush and i'm i'm happy i got it because at first i was really unsure because it looks very dark but it's very wearable it's very intense in color like a, you dip your brush in the blush and you get so much color payoff so you really have to build it up very gently and naturally which is good it's so opaque but you can just create something very very beautiful and then last but not least is the eyeshadow palette from the holiday season that i picked up this is 359 and this is called cosmic eyes this palette you guys is so beautiful you know i have complained that there is not enough cool tone shadows and this palette here is giving me the cool tone shadow that i need again we have the inspiration of the the galaxy and the stars and the constellations here and you do get some classic smoky eye hues but this shade over here let me go ahead and swatch it for you the top shades here are your more natural neutral every day this one here is giving me a little bit more of like a khaki olive and then here you have more gold color a beautiful light pinky peach and this shade this is the shade that i love the most from the palette it's like a slate gray metal color it's so beautiful sometimes i use it all over or just in the crease it's so beautiful i love it so much and then here we have just like our regular dark matte black so you can do a classic smoky like i said but you have something here with this beautiful gray that we just don't see that much of and i'm very very happy to see it's a fun take on a classic smoky eye where you have access to it but you can do something different and i've gotten so much use out of this palette it's hard to tell because like a lot of it still looks you know pretty good condition but you can tell from some of the shades that they're starting to lose their detailing here but it's a palette that i am so so happy that i picked up and there's another palette available because whenever dior does holiday collections and stuff like that they always have like two 
five shadow palettes available and the other one is uh i think more classic smoky but with like a red in it so for me that wasn't for me but uh these are the best dior beauty releases in my opinion of 2022 i would love to hear from you in the comments what in your opinion were the best beauty launches of the brand for 2022 i'm really curious because sometimes we have different tastes and i would love to know from you what were some of your favorite launches from the brand don't forget to like and also subscribe to my channel because a lot of you who watch me are not subscribed yet so just go ahead and hit subscribe and if you are not aware i have an online beauty consulting service it's a one-on-one -on -one video chat where you and i get to talk one-on-one -on -one and you get to ask me all of your burning beauty questions so to make an appointment for yourself go ahead and click the link down below and on that note i think that's all i have for you guys for today so thank you so much for stopping by hope you have a beautiful day and i'll see you next time bye